Hello. So today I want to discuss about a problem that appeared in CMI 2019 entrance exam. It's mainly a combinatorics problem, mainly counting. So the question says for a natural number n, we denote map n by set of all functions that maps the set 1 to up to n to 1 to up to n. For f g map n, we define f of g to be the composition of functions f of g, f and g. Now for f in map n, if for all x in 1 to up to n, if x not equal to x, I have to show that f composition f is not equal to f. And in the second part, I have to count number of such functions as that f of f is identical equal to f. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by Chinta.com. Since 2010, Chinta has trained thousands of students from all around the world in mathematical olympiads, physics olympiads, computer science and informatics olympiads, ISI CMI entrances, and research projects for school and college students. The first part is easy. For the first part, if f of f equal to f, then like I have f of f of x, this means what I have f of f of x equal to fx. Now for a particular x, fixing x, I can define y equal to fx, that means f of y equal to y. And this contradicts that, this is a contradiction. This contradicts that f y not equal to y for all y in 1 to up to n. So f of f is not equal to f. So the part is 1 is okay. In the second part I have to count such functions such that f of f is equal to f. This is an interesting counting problem. We have f of f is f equal to means what? For all x f of f of x equal to x this means this means what each x maps to a fixed point of f what do i mean by a fixed point all those points y such that f y equal to y like those points like y ah, okay fixed points means this set ah, wait. y says that f y equal to y and this follows from this equation directly because if x math to f of x like x max to f of x then f of x is a fixed point of f because if i say f of x to be y then f y must be equal to y because f of f of x equal to f of x so this is not x sorry this is f of x so if i define f of x to be y then f of f of x equal to f of x it means f y equal to y so x maps up x, for each x x maps to a fixed point of f so the function is almost determined by the fixed points of f so let assume that that f has k fixed points we can count them in number of ways how can we can choose k fixed points number of ways equal to just n choose k because i have to choose between one to up to n i have to determine which of them are fixed with which we can take any k of any k of the numbers one to up to n now what suppose i have one to let's do an example for seven okay suppose i have exactly four fixed points Say that is 1, 3, 4, and 7. So these four are fixed points that map to itself, those points. In this case, I have k equal to 4. 
it's fine now what are my conditions any point maps to a fixed fix point so as my 1 3 4 and 7 are my fixed points all the other points like that, that are not fixed points that are 2 5 and 6 they all should map to 1 th 1 3 4 and 7 because they have no other options to map because any point maps to a fixed point so 2 th 2 5 and 6 have only four options like like this four are the k options so what do you what do we think in general for it in general n i have choose k fixed point so i have k many and these red circles are n minus k points so each of the n minus k points maps to a maps to a, maps to one of the k fixed points and any such mapping is any such different arrow mapping determines a function uniquely so now so we have n minus k many points and have k many points here so i have here i have n minus k many points here i have k many points so i have to determine how many functions are there because that determines the function uniquely because here i have n minus k many points so, but the rest k are fixed points so already they mapped to itself so you know that so we know that where they go so i have to determine where the n minus k points go so they have only k choices now i have to determine when all possible such choices among these k choices so n minus k many points here i have k many points how many functions that maps n minus k points to k points so each point has k many choices and we have each point has k choices and we have n minus k many points each point has k choices n minus k many points so total k to the power n minus k many choices by multiplication principle of combinatory so for a particular k i can choose the fixed points in n choose k ways and for that n choose for that particular choice i have k to the power n minus k many functions so for fixed k number of such functions is n choose k into k to the power n minus k now for different case these are disjoint cases so to get the final answer we just I have to sum over there now vary we have to vary k over 1 to up to n so total number of such functions equal to summation n choose k into k to the power n minus k and this sum runs over k equal to 1 to n and this is my final answer and this ends the solution we are done Chinta programs are designed for students who are passionate about mathematics and they are personalized with one-on-one -on -one training, individual evaluation and remedial sessions. The reason Chinta students are successful over the last 10 years because they are taught by mathematicians and real Olympiads from leading universities in India, United States and Europe. Some of our students come back to teach at Chinta from Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, MIT, UCLA, ISI, CMI, IITs, TIFR and IISC. For more information, visit Chinta.com.